I am going to show you how to complete this activity on volume. You can see that I have a domino piece right here that says start. There is a three-dimensional object. I need to determine the volume of this three-dimensional object. In order to do that, I will go to page number three and I will give the name of the object under problem number one. So I know that that object is a cube. So I will type cube. Wherever you see red question marks, that is where you can type. Now I am going to scroll to the left and I have five different volume formulas. I'm going to ask myself which volume formula goes with a cube. Well, I know a cube is volume equals side to the third power or side cubed. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it where it says drag here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my dimensions where I have the question mark. So again, it is side to the third power. So I'm going to look for my side. What was the dimensions of my side? Well, my side was five feet. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to replace that question mark with a five. Okay, now I'm going to ask myself, what is five feet to the third power? That is five feet times five feet times five feet. Well, five times five times five is 125. And I know feet times feet times feet is cubic feet. It already gives me cubic feet right here. So I just needed to type in 125. Now I will go back to page two and I will look for the domino piece that has 125. I can see that that is domino piece E. I will take that and I will drag it to the second domino piece. Okay, now this becomes the next problem that I need to solve for volume. I will go back and I will do the same thing for problem number two. I will name that object. I will look over to the left. I'll scroll to the left and I will look and see which one of these volume formulas goes with that object. You will continue for all of these problems on page uh, three. You will also continue on page four, eight through 14. Once you get to problem number 14, after you solve this problem, take your answer, go back to two, you move the domino piece and then give me the answer right here because it says, what is the answer to the last domino? So I want you to type in the answer to the last domino. Lastly, if you look on page five, you can see I have extra domino pieces. So for example, if you're on page two and you on accident delete this domino piece and you're, oh my goodness, I can't complete the activity because I don't have that domino piece. Well, you can go to page five, you can highlight that piece, right click it and hit copy. You can also hit control plus C, so control and C. That will also copy the domino piece. You will go back to page two and you can right click and hit paste or you can put control V. And I will paste that and I can move it wherever I need to move it. That is pretty much it. Uh, please go ahead and complete the activity.